Welcome back Cloud Cadets. In this video and the coming videos we will be uh, delving into the repos section of uh, Azure DevOps. But in this video we're just going to get an overview before uh, we get started. So first we navigate to our project and we go to the section repos. And the first thing you see when you open this for the first time is that we have a default repository that's already created for us based on the project name. And uh, you might not like this, uh, as we already can see, uh, we get this, this is a represents uh, space. Uh, so these are the things we can change, and we'll look into that soon. But first, I want to get an overview of this. As you see, this is actually an initialized uh, repo on the remote. Um, but it's empty, it has nothing, it has no files. And there are instructions for how to clone it to your computer. You can use HTTPS or SSH. Um, there are different ways here. They make available through some different editors. Uh, if you're using HTTPS, you can create a Git credentials and you'll have to remember those. And sometimes you might type in your password when you push up here and so on. Uh, and then there's a different option here where we created the repository locally first and then push it um, up here and we can do it uh, through the command line and also here through https and ssh and we can also import repository from different uh, providers such as github uh, and we also have this version for team uh, a little more advanced not what you generally might be using uh, unless you're working in a bigger company and uh, when we initialize it we can add a readme and here we can select a git ignore maybe you're working on different kind of projects c++ uh, uh, go dot we saw there um, there are different ones there's even one here for i think visual studio which many of you might be using so this is what we see first then if we go up here to cloud cadets you can see we can have multiple repositories we don't need to have just one and before we explore this further, let's click on this manage repositories. And we can see here uh, our repositories will be in a list like this, and we can delve deeper into them. As we see here, we can delete. Uh, you can only delete this. Uh, if I press now delete, you'll see uh, it won't allow me. We have to copy that, paste, and it will say there must be at least one repository per team project. So I can't delete that. Not yet. I can create another, um, and I'll showcase that in a moment. And here we can rename or browse. But then let's look at these uh, tabs here. And we have settings. These are settings that apply to our repositories. So by default, um, we will have uh, the main branch. Uh, well, as the main branch. <laughs> Gotta love the name. Before it was master, you might like to use the old system, or you might want a different one. Um, um, I don't know, whatever you name. And then there are other different options here that we can uh, configure. And policies uh, that you want here, branch policies uh, that, uh, what do we say, it uh, applies to all branches. Because later on we will see when we create a main and dev branch, we will, from there, we can also apply branch policies uh, individually. But this is if something you want that applies to all of them, which we're not interested of right now. And then you have some security options here. We saw in the Teams video that when we created Teams, we could give them roles. Uh, and here you could configure them. For example, readers should not be able to do much with branches. They can, here they by default set, they can contribute and read, but nothing else while a contributor has a little more permissions. And then the admi administrators have a lot more. So here you can configure that as well. Uh, maybe you, you in the testers team, you don't want them to be able to contribute to your development branches, you know, for the back end or front end. So let's go back here to repositories. Uh, I don't really like what they do this, but we can create one here, a new repository, but uh, I want to also show you the so we can see it here, that most people will be working from here. Click on this, new repository, exactly the same menu. 
And here I just want to create a sample one and I'm going to show you how it looks. I can add a Visual Studio, uh, get it with it. I'll just call it uh, test people and create. And um, we see that we get a default readme with it, and get ignore. And you see, we can we can work with our files here. And we'll see later when people set up pull requests um, and we want to review them before merging them into our branches, we could uh, look into the codes, we can see the git commits. Uh, sometimes uh, we can edit them already from there. Um, as you see, like if I go in here to the readme file, there's an edit button and I can edit it here as I like. So we don't always have to open these things in our editors. Uh, and we see there's a preview file to show how it, the readme is rendered. And there's history. We see the git commits here, right now just one. We can compare uh, while we're editing one and seeing here. And then the blame. Oh my god, they'll find out I did all of this wrong. Anyhow. Uh, and here we have some more things. We can delete it, uh, rename the file, and what, uh, download individually. So, uh, let's see. We're done here. Now I want to show you how we can remove the original one. Cloud Cadets, delete, we remember the name, delete, now it's gone. And now I can create a new one, because you might have done something wrong, you want to start over. This is one way of doing it. You can remove the old one and start over. Me, for example, I don't want to read me, I want to start off exactly from zero, how it looked when we first created the project. But I want to call it Cloud Cadets without a space between the two words. Uh, and there we go, there we have it. Uh, we can click here and then we see it. And here we also, when we're entering it, we can configure specific things for this repo. Just this one. And uh, here we have the settings for all of them, configurations. Now if I go back, click here, change to this one, and we're back to the default state. There's nothing here right now. And this is what we want to start from uh, in the next videos. But just a quick overview here. So this is the file section. Later we will have a commit section here. Uh, pushes, branches. Right now there's nothing. We'll explore this in more uh, depth. And tags, pull requests, and advanced security. But as this is empty now, we don't really see anything. But when we create a, a repo, we will see. So here's where we end this video. And in the next one, we will go through the first way of setting this up uh, by the most perhaps usual way through Visual Studio. So until next uplink, uh, cadets, take care.